Okay, so here I uh, ended up getting my exhaust fan a little bit more permanently attached. Um, mind you, this isn't where my machine is going to be set up. It's going to be turned, but it's just while I'm fixing the basement up. Um, but anyway, I, I got some uh, styrofoam. It's hard to see with the bright light, but I got yeah some little styrofoam insulation board and put it up there so that helps to keep the cold out. Got a nice tight fit in there, so that's, hopefully it's going to work good. Okay, um, so I'm again playing around with uh, importing images into LaserDraw or what have you. Um, <coughs> doing a little research last last night on, I found there's a plugin out there that uh, for Photoshop that converts it, and I haven't tried it yet, so this is what I'm gonna do. I've actually downloaded it on my other computer and I've played with it. Um, and these are some of the sample photos that, that came out. Um, this is one of my photographs. And I'm gonna try to, to, to print that. Um, I think, I don't know for sure if this this one will work because it's, the pixelation is so tight because it's such a large photo. I may have to resize it and then do it. Because if, and same with that one, maybe even that one. But if I go to this one, this was a lot smaller picture and if you, you can really see the dots in that one. And then, and same with this one. Um, I, did a few, I did a couple different darknesses. You can do three different darknesses. And this was the way I did it the old way, so it didn't turn out quite as well. So, um, and same with that. So, uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to do the um, the plugin. So, I, I go into here. It's called Gold Method. So there's an action and a script. I never got the action to load, so I'm just going to do the script that works. So. Um, so you would right click and you're going to copy this and then, then you actually have to go in and put that in uh, C drive. I believe it's under program files, Adobe, and I have Photoshop, CC, and then we're going to go presets, sorry, presets, and then we look for scripts, PQRST, scripts. And then you're just going to paste in. You notice you got a bunch of other ones, a bunch of other ones that are in there. So you hit paste. Um, and the administrative rights, sure. Okay. Now I believe I'm going to have to, yeah, shut Photoshop and then reopen it. One, that's that's the original one. So let's do that one. Okay. Um, so if you go into file and you go scripts old method and then basically I what I did is I move this off the side um, this is at 100% so you can actually just move these sliders you can invert it which I don't want to do uh, but I found darking it probably works about the best and I'm, I've been hitting 300 dpi um, so if I hit that it goes through boom there it is and do you like it yes or no you hit yes and you notice it's all dots test part so I could do that one. I could do the kayak. I'm gonna do the kayak one first if you're interested with that. So I'm gonna open that up in here. Um, if I go my layout, did it stay? Yeah, okay. And now my height is too tall. So you could see that here, it goes too tall. So it fits the width, which I don't really like, which would fit the height. Um, so I'm going to set the height, I'm going to set it to 70, um, even though I'm at 72, so I'll give me a little bit of a margin at the top and bottom. See, so I'm, I'm one millimeter in and one millimeter in from there, and it's centered side to side. Okay, um, so now, let's go and we're going to hit the cut, and this is now, I'm going to, I'm engraving here. Um, and I, I haven't touched any of my settings from the other day in terms of, of uh, temperature and speed. So what I need to do here now is, is, is 
get the camera to show so start okay so I, I had a tape event like every other person did on the uh, uh, videos I've watched um, so this is obviously a, a major design flaw because um, I'm actually still getting some smoke inside the house there even with this I thought this for sure would help um, I can see smoke outside a little bit every once in a while um, but um, I'm gonna maybe get some that window foam stick it in there and that might help plug it up so. okay so here's the final product I'm fairly fairly happy with that so uh, I guess what my next move is now I'm gonna um, do that polar bear the one that's gonna be opposite to this one so uh, let's see how that works I'm gonna make it bigger I think probably going to use this size of wood right there. So, let's go. Okay, so here I got this thing going here. Um, this is the polar bear. That's going to match this polar bear here. Except this was done my way in Photoshop, which I didn't know what I was doing. And this one is going to be done with the program that, or that script that I downloaded. Um, which is made it look like this, and uh, I, I guess it's highlighted, so let's click off of it there. So uh, I think it's going to be quite a difference. So um, key thing is here, I reset up my sides and stuff, uh, size, but I think I may have to put a bigger margin. So anyway, uh, let's. I'll show what it's done. <laughs> Okay, so it's all done. Um, wow, well, very, very happy with this. Um, that ended up taking approximately 25 minutes. Which, I mean, you soon see that it would take forever. Um, it, I think the green is pretty cool on here. It's just. Uh, it's, it really, really shows up different. So I'm going to do some plan. 